Hey, how's it going, guys? Just respawn here, and this is a gaming PC build for uh, thirteen hundred dollars. This was gonna be for a grand, but uh, kind of the prices that uh, cause I was kind of looking for didn't kind of work out. So if you guys can find uh, other uh, of these products somewhere else, like New Egg or Tiger Direct or something, because all the basically PC builds I do is from Amazon or any kind of like place but mostly Amazon so first uh, most most people gonna kick it off with the processor but I'm gonna kick it off with the case which that will be putting all of our products in obviously so this is a really small form factor PC case is it is very very sick and a lot of people do these kind of builds so this is a bit Phoenix prodigy uh, MITX case or whatever that's what it just said uh, this is around like 90 bucks uh, uh, of these cases but if you want kind of like different colors this is kind of like a black grayish color but if you guys want red color green color blue color orange pure black uh, pure white uh, those are around like a hundred dollars like 10 bucks more because obviously it's a brushed kind of uh, color obviously so I'll put that link down in the description below right next to uh, the case. So now mm, let's go on to the CPU which that will be an Intel Core i5 4570 not the K at the end just 4570 quad core desktop processor 3.2 gigahertz 6 megabyte cache. So as you can see this is one of those new kind of processor which that as you can see the cool little design on the box which that designs of the new uh, CPU boxes. So this is around two hundred and ten dollars. So, uh, yeah, the, basically a good price for an i5. Usually, uh, usually like an i7 is like maybe around like one hundred and fifty dollars more, like an i7 thirty seven seventy K. Which that this is a really good price until the i5 is not that much different from the i7. Many people say i7s you need for gaming. No, the i5s are just a smick down from the i7, so there's really no much difference. It depends which one uh, i5 or i7 you compare to. Some i7s and i5s you compare to would be about the same. So now let's go on to the CPU cooler, which that will be cooling uh, the CPU and everything. So this is a Cooler Master 120 millimeter liquid s cooling system, 120 millimeter, whatever. So this is around 70 bucks. Uh, as you can see, uh, the little picture. That's what I do support uh, pictures on every one of my builds, so uh, you can get a detail what it would look like. So that's what it looks like, and like I said, it's around 70 bucks. So now let's go on to uh, the motherboard, which that will be putting all over RAM, CPU, RAM, graphics card, things like that. You guys know that. So this is a AS Rock uh, B85M LGA 1150 Intel B85 chipset DDR3 SATA 3 USB 3.0 Mini ITX board. So this is around a hundred dollars, aka ninety six dollars and thirty four cents, the actual price. So basically, the board, uh, if you can see right on the picture of the board, it supports VGA, DVI, and that little little thing right next to the uh, VGA and the DVI. There's an HDMI, but we would, do not need that because obviously we're gonna have a graphics card in there. And speaking of graphics cards, uh. Uh, I think the graphics card is right after the RAM, which that is coming next. But as you can see, it only has one uh, 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 one SLI slot, so there's only allowed one graphics card because this is obviously a small case that we're going to put it in, uh, then a small, uh, obviously, board. So that obviously runs around $100. So now let's go on to the RAM, which that will be doing Corsair Vengeance 8 gigabytes, 2 times 4 DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. So this runs around $90. Obviously, a lot of places like Newegg or Tiger or Direct or any other kind of like PC store supports uh, RAM. So you can probably find this kind of RAM cheaper or a little bit higher. Usually you can find 8 gigabytes of RAM of Corsair Dominator, which that is amazing, the top of the line uh, RAM out there. 
and that's probably around like $130 if you want to go with that. It has an LED on top, It, I'm pretty sure it has a fan inside and everything, it looks really cool. So speaking of graphics cards, now let's uh, go on to the graphics card, which that is an EVGA uh, GeForce GTX 760 Super Clocked Edition. So reason why I went with the Super Clocked Edition over on the, the original design, uh, first of all, I looked at lots of reviews and unboxings of things like this. Uh, the Celsius uh, was actually a lot, just a lot uh, better on uh, uh, one of these uh, uh, graphics cards with the two fans. So uh, basically, I just went with EVGA because uh, the other EVGA one, uh, kind of the reference design, which that just has a normal fan blower. Uh, and that one had a lot of uh, heat going into it and everything, and it was just like 80 Celsius or whatever. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, then this one was like 60 Celsius or whatever, so this one was actually pretty cooler. And just because uh, the two fans and since I'll rate under the fans, it's just an all-open graphics card. So this runs around uh, $260, and yes, this is a cheap-ass graphics card, and this is actually going to replace the GTX 660 Ti. Uh, if you guys have this in GTX, 60, uh, GTX 660 Ti, don't need to upgrade. This only gets like maybe around like a few more frames per second on like any other game probably around like three or four set uh... frames per second and i watched like a whole bunch of benchmarks on this versus the gtx 660 ti versus this and the uh, 760 only got like maybe around five more frames per second than all of the other uh... pc things and speaking of uh... The graphics card. Uh, now we're gonna cut to this video, uh, which that is Battlefield right now on ultra settings and everything. Obviously, this guy's uh, PC has the same graphics card. He only has like a twenty dollar more uh, processor in, and he has eight gigabytes of RAM and things like that. Uh, and yeah, uh, basically, as you can see, you're seeing the video right now of Battlefield gameplay on this graphics card. And look at the frame rate on the top right corner. Uh, it gets really decent frame rates on ultra settings at all the way 1080p. So this is an amazing ass card. So uh, now we're going to cut that gameplay footage. Now we're going to go on to the hard drive, which that would be a Seagate uh, Barracuda 72 RPM. One terabyte uh, hard drive, 70, 32 megabyte cache, 3.5 inch internal hard drive, which that this would be a uh, hundred and thirty five dollars, hundred thirty, uh, hundred thirty six dollars or whatever. Uh, I was trying to look for the cheapest kind of one terabyte because I was kind of going over the one uh, one thousand dollar gaming uh, build, so I was like, screw it. Uh, I might as well just do like a fifteen hundred uh, PC build or a thirteen hundred uh, PC build or whatever. So uh, it's CK Barracuda is like kind of like right behind uh, uh, Corsair. They the uh, Corsair. Uh, I think it's Corsair, uh, with the blue and the black and, uh, like, brands. I, I forget, but whatever. And let's go on to the SSD, and usually people don't have SSDs in, like, $1,300 gaming PC builds or whatever. Not 1300 uh, gaming PC builds. Uh, around 1000 to $1,300 gaming PC builds. So basically, this is actually a low-end uh, SSD, which that is a SanDisk 64 gigabyte solid state drive. I just uh, considered that we needed a solid state drive to boot up and shut down your computer faster and run a little bit more games, and put your optical uh, OS uh, operating system on this and everything. It's and this runs around eighty dollars, and this is lovely. Uh, if you guys want to upgrade, obviously I'll put the link down in the description below for. Uh, if you guys don't want to get this, and if you want to get like 128 gigabyte or like a uh, 480, which that will be just totally insane. But uh, now let's go on to the power supply, which that will be powering all this uh, system, which that is a Corsair Builder Series CX 600 watt, 80 plus uh, certified power supply. 
compatible with Intel and AMD platforms and this is kind of cheap uh, for a 600 watt power supply uh, well not really because like all the other 600 watts are around $500 because they're like no name branded because this is Corsair and 600 watts not that much but it's enough to run this PC. If you guys want to go with like a 550 watt, I'll see what I can do about putting it down in the description below. Because this PC build only needs like two, 470 watts. So if you guys want to go with that or something like that. So this runs around 80 bucks. So really, really nice. So now let's go into the optical drive, which that is optional. This is optional, guys. Uh, because. If you guys want to get an optical drive or you just want to, uh, since how there's only, if you guys go back to the case, which that, uh, at the front, if you guys go way back at the, uh, when I'm introducing the case, the case only has one slot for one thing only, uh, optical drive or a fan controller or something like that. If you guys want to go with a fan controller, like a very small fan controller or an optical drive, the optical drive in Asus, 24 times DVD raw series, AT, uh, ATA internal, uh, drive. So this runs around $25.44, so if you guys want to go with like a, a fan controller, that will probably run you around like 40 50 bucks. so uh, just stick with that or get none, just leave it out. And obviously you need an OS, obviously an OS is operating system, so I tried to find Windows 8 because you're probably like, why Windows 8? I hate Windows 8. Well, uh, I kind of hated Windows 8 as well, but since how I learned that Windows 8 is going to be on the, all the next-gen consoles and it's going to work better with all the next-gen games, which that, uh, the, the graphics card that I picked was the EVGA GeForce GTX 760 is compatible with all the new games. Obviously, all graphics cards are compatible, just that, uh, this graphics card is already compared, like, ready for all the next gen uh, games so basically this windows 8 system builder would cost you around 140 dollars i know if you guys go on like cyber power or something like that uh you, you guys can buy this for like 60 bucks and uh you guys can probably go on sales or whatever i'm pretty sure this is on sale for like 86 bucks right now i'm not 100 percent sure uh but anyway uh that's my build guys hope you enjoyed and if you did smack that like button add the video to your favorites and subscribe to my channel and if you want uh, uh i'll put the link down in the description below for that uh little test of the battlefield 3 and i'll have uh a 1080p versus 1440p uh on crisis 3 with the uh, the gtx 760 graphics card up on crisis 3 on everything like high and ultra and things like that so uh just hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like and add this video to your favorites and subscribe to my channel and and don't forget to share this video and uh catch you in my next video and peace <laughs>